The San Diego Chargers are more than halfway through their football season, but as the weeks tick by, many fans and local officials continue to worry about whether the team will pull up roots and head north. That is, unless San Diego or another city in the county can promise a new stadium to the team. Joining me now to talk about this ongoing issue is Liam Dillon, staff writer for voiceofsandiego.org. Welcome, Liam. Thank you for having me. So why do the Chargers want a new stadium? Well, it's been about seven years since they've been looking for one. And basically the deal is they don't feel that they can be competitive with some of the larger markets in the NFL unless they get new, new uh, revenue that would come with, with the new stadium from luxury boxes and things of that nature. So what are they looking at right now in well, terms of site? Right now, in terms of San Diego County, there's only one site left on the table at the moment, and that is downtown uh, San Diego. This was announced a couple weeks ago. Um, and the site is east of Petco Park. It's about 15 acres and includes the uh, Wonder Bread Factory building. And why there? Well, um, the team is, likes it because it saves a lot of money on infrastructure. I mean, they've been putting the uh, stadium price at about a billion dollars. Uh, I spoke with the team special counsel, the person in charge of um, uh, the stadium search for the Chargers this morning, and he mentioned to me that um, building downtown could lower the cost to about $750 million. And so it's a big savings once you have transportation infrastructure, parking, things like that already in place. What happened to cities like Chula Vista, Oceanside, even Escondido? Weren't they all talking about building a new stadium? Well, everyone is, and the big hurdle um, that they all faced and none of them could get over is the financing issue, the money issue. And so, you know, the hope is if you have a place where there's infrastructure that's in place already, you'll be able to save some money like they have downtown, and that could potentially make that uh, uh, the question easier to resolve. Now, isn't there a wild card in all of this in another city in Los Angeles County? Yes, uh, the city of industry in Los Angeles County is uh, um, just received a uh, substantial uh, moving f a substantial um, boost from the, uh, the the governor in terms of waiving some environmental review that they would have had to do for a stadium project, and they're looking at wooing. Uh, seven teams from the NFL to come to move to their stadium, and one of those teams that they're targeting is the Chargers. So is this going to be our main competition then, if we're talking about San Diego City wanting this? Well, for right now, that's all that's left. I mean, every other deal in San Diego County is off the table at the moment, and so it's really a, uh, a San Diego versus L.A. issue. Now, it's important to note that the Chargers have said for seven years and are continuing to say that their number one priority, their only options that they're looking at are in San Diego. Now, we keep hearing about the year 2011 that mm -hmm. this is somehow the make it or break it year. Why is that? Well, the uh, lease that the Chargers have with the city of San Diego for Qualcomm Stadium uh, has an out clause every year. But in order to exercise that out clause, the team has to pay a buyout fee. Uh, right now, uh, that fee is in the $55 million range, but once you hit 2011, it goes down to the $25 million range. And so that's a, that's a substantial savings the team would have. So what happens next in terms of this process? Well, um, we're looking really at, uh, at the beginning of the new year. That's when the uh, team hopes to have a preliminary financing plan in place for the city of San Diego. And that's also when uh, LA's developers are looking to to uh, pr present their financing plans to all the teams in the NFL that they're targeting. We've been hearing about a lot of new projects uh, in the city of San Diego, a new library, a new city hall, an expanded convention center, and now this. What, how likely is it that, that something like this that, that would take some public money is really going to get built? Well, it's a matter of um, uh, the idea that the mayor's office keeps uh, 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 talking about is different pots of money. And so you have only certain dollars can go toward certain places. The library, for example, you'll have um, a state grant that could only go towards building a central library. And so, you know, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the sell, is if you can get support for projects where uh, the dollars either could only go towards this project or could only substantially go towards certain projects. Great. Thanks, Liam Dillon. Thanks for taking the time.